What's up guys? First of all, thanks for watching this video. But before we get started, I just wanted to inform you guys that we're doing a giveaway with this video series as well. For this series, we have a tan, coyote tan, marsupial bino harness. It's the enclosed medium. It should fit most binoculars out there. It is fully compatible with all the marsupial accessories. But with that being said, uh, in order to enter, you have to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and comment in this video. Uh, if you do all those things, you get one entry. If you go on social media and then share a picture of the YouTube channel, a picture of the video, whatever, on your story, and then tag us in that, it'll get you an extra entry. And then when we uh, put in everybody at the end of the video series, you'll get have more than one entry. So once again, for the one entry, like, subscribe, comment. And for the second entry, share on your social media story. So I hope you guys like this video and thanks for watching. All right, going into Colorado, what are your guys' standards? I need like a like a solid four point. Yeah. That's all I need. 100%. Yeah, I think he's. I think it's totally doable. I just need five inches of <laughs> antler. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed for nope. you, Bob. I read those rags. Five inches of bone. Bob will get all jacked. I'll be like, Bob, I'll film it. You just fucking go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do this, Bob. If you really want to. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, he'll have two in it by the time we even know what's going on, man. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Jeff? What about you, Jeffrey? I'm going on the same thing. I just I want a good buck. I'm not mm -hmm. going to go, I mean, last day, I'll shoot anything that's got five inches. I'll be at Bob's level, but mm -hmm. I want to go down. I don't want to go down there and, and shoot a two-point on opening day. Right. I don't want a good buck. Colorado bound. Our tag opens tomorrow morning and we will be in Colorado tomorrow morning. We got a 18 to 22 hour ish drive. The three of us. You boys ready? I'm ready. There it is. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> we're uh, we're big buck hunting. Uh, well, I'm just going to say buck hunting because we all know over here at Trigger Happy Bob. Yeah. Boom and crock pot, ain't it? <laughs> Boom and crock pot. All right. Here we go. Enjoy this uh, 18 hour drive. Off to another week-long mule deer hunt to project. Let's go. Let's go. What are you doing, man? We well, just discovered that uh, we're in the great state of Idaho. We are in Boise. We just had a little late night parlay with our friend John over at Kestrel Blasting Systems. What what podcast is that? Hand Wild podcast. Never heard of her. Those guys sound dumb. Yeah. They probably didn't go to college. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not. Slated to be in western Colorado by 8 a.m. 8 a.m. I, I can cut some time on that. Yeah, and yeah. luckily here in other, dare I say, highway-wise better western states, they have speed limits that are more reasonable, right? 60 miles an hour is not, you cannot get places where it's not. Yeah. Great state of Idaho, 80 miles an hour. Yeah, I like that. Perfect. Love it. Montana, don't, they don't even put up a sign. Yeah. They just say, go whatever you want to go. <laughs> It's opening morning, yeah. It's 30 degrees and it's the seventh today, right? Our tag runs from Saturday the seventh through Friday the thirteenth. Ooh, just realized oh, that me one. Me too. <laughs> uh, Crazy. Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> Hopefully I shoot a big spooky buck. I'm excited. So 
Let's get her done. This thing. Oh, here oh. we go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is there a weight rating on this thing? <laughs> I think we're good, bud. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> the feet went all the way in the bag. It's oh. over. That's a done Are deal, bud. Is it good? Yeah, yeah you're good. <laughs> oh. Look, I even got these. Give me a massage. Yeah. Okay, night night. Morning guys, it is Sunday, day two of our hunt. Uh, we got some shut eye last night, we're feeling good. I'm making some coffee, it is cold out, there's some snow outside. Uh, hopefully it's gonna get those bucks moving. So we're feeling very optimistic about today and what's in store for us. Robbie Denning, finger in the... <whistles> like it. Cheers, let's go, go get them. bucks. On the way up here, the lock to my canopy is frozen shut so we're using the the jet boil to thaw it out so we can hopefully open the tailgate get my gear out of there <laughs> and mine and Jeff's spotted a buck going after him looks like a decent shooter so let's go make a move see if we can get closer well we chased after that buck we saw this morning he's on the next ridge over we chose to go right, stay on this ridge, hoping to be able to get a shot that was across the valley floor. Turns out the, the face that we needed to attack from was completely timbered. Deadfall, small trees, it was bad. It was a bad approach, but we didn't know. We didn't know it was there. We should have probably just hooked left and followed them around, but that's okay. Looks like they probably made their way further up the valley uh, where that drainage we're going to keep. We've popped back out of the timber now. We're going to work our way back around uh, away from where that buck was. And uh, just go see if there's anything else to see. It's cold. Beautiful morning though. It's 20 degrees outside. Third day in Colorado. Yesterday we saw one good shooter buck. Uh, and three two points at this spot. I think that Bob has determined that he's okay with shooting a two point today. We'll see what happens. We're gonna hang out and it's first light. It's not even like first light yet, so we're making coffee and uh, we will have more to report with once the sun pokes up a little bit. <laughs> Jeff uh, spotted a two point behind me, maybe a thousand yards or so. Pat and I went and made a move on it. Uh, we followed this little skitter road up to some aspens and he hit a range, got to about 400 yards. We weaved our way through the aspens, keeping tabs on the deer every 50 yards or so. And uh, right before we broke out of the aspens, we looked back up and they were nowhere to be found. Uh, we radioed into Jeff. And he said that the deer had moved right, so I'm assuming they caught they caught us. And then he said that he had a two-point spotted back where he was at, so we made our way back. We saw him, but then it started snowing, as you can see, and can't really see too much. So we're just gonna wait for the snow to settle down, and then hopefully it pops back out. There's a there's a shooter buck in those trees, about 700 yards from us right now. So. If it clears, all we need is maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes to get in position, two minutes to get data, and <laughs> half that to take a shot. We're, uh, we're going after that buck that Jeff spotted earlier, same buck. Uh, it looked bigger originally, but we verified it's the same two by three. Uh, Jeff doesn't want them. I'm more than happy to take them, so we're gonna make a move, see how close we can get. If we can get within a few hundred yards and comfortable, I think I'll take a shot, so let's go get him. The deer should be right over that knob. We should be really close to him. It's gonna slowly peek over, get settled, and take a shot on this buck. Here we go. Well, we got over here. We've been sitting here maybe an hour or so, and the 
deer kind of fed into the timber and bedded down just over 400 yards so we've just been waiting them out uh, it started snowing again so we're kind of tossing around if we want to wait those deer out or try somewhere else so as of now we're just waiting these these deer out a little chilly that stock didn't work we can't see like 80 feet now we're gonna go back to the rig it's a little cold out here but i'm loving it i think we're all gonna shoot spikes yep just go back to the truck having a nanner and an apple just uh i had to take a deuce in this that was awesome <laughs> the butt wipes were left on the tailgate and they were covered in snow <laughs> so they're frozen that was interesting but yeah you can't see much right now we're gonna let this clear and then we'll start glassing again because there's bucks out there i just uh spotted that two by three again or three by three now uh he's back out in the open we're gonna go to where me and bob were about three hours ago and uh set up for the evening hopefully get a chance at him let's go How far was the deer? It's like 360, I think. 355. 355. I took a shot. Um, he came down maybe 100, 150 yards and piled up in these aspens down here. So we we're just watching him. Gonna give him a little bit of time, but we're pretty sure he's down. So there's a deer on the ground. <laughs> Walked up on my buck, followed a pretty good blood trail down here. Uh, really red blood. So I think Pat was saying yeah, it's an indication of a heart shot. And I think when we walked up on it, that's a the verified, that's a fact. Yeah, nice little three a... by three. So I'm very satisfied with this year and just glad to be doing it. shoulder in Bob <laughs> I'm thinking so <laughs> so it's 540 in the p.m. we finally got our three exos loaded up uh, I got two rears the head Pat's got two fronts Jeff's got the scrap bag and my rifle um, we got maybe maybe a mile back to the truck but it's uh, pretty nasty conditions with all the snow and the terrain so we'll be a little warm when we get back but it's not too bad just stoked they got this buck down and we're gonna do it again. We got four more full days to hunt, so two more tags. Let's go.